My name is Miles, and I am a volunteer mentor with the Foundation of Hope's Aftercare Program. I decided to become a volunteer mentor quite simply because I used to be that. I used to be an inmate, and I know firsthand what it takes to re-enter society, the challenges and barriers, and what it takes to overcome them. I was arrested with drugs and was at first given the opportunity to go to, to treatment, to rehab. Uh, unfortunately, from there, I continued down the same path uh, and really spiraled worse and worse. And from there, uh, my next opportunities were juvenile placement and ultimately the Allegheny County Jail. Uh, so from the time period of 16 to 23, uh, I was in and out of incarceration, spending about three of those six years um, in some sort of institution. The turning point in my life was definitely when I finally got sat down at the Allegheny County Jail for about a 15 month period. And a month into that, my son was born. And I definitely hit the lowest point in my life at that point. And with the birth of my son, and especially the first time I got to hold him, that really gave me the motivation, the strength, and the hope that I needed to pull myself out of that period of my life. When I was released from jail, I would say the three biggest immediate challenges that I faced was housing, where I was gonna live, employment, having a limited work experience, criminal background at this point and really no education and how I was going to be able to be involved in my son's life. While I was in jail and even after I was released, I did not get any help from the Foundation of Hope, but only because I didn't know it existed. I spent the majority of my time in jail going through a drug and alcohol program, but I know that if I would have had the Foundation of Hope, especially on the aftercare program, it would have made it a lot easier for me to transition, get employment, much sooner. What I was able to do is starting really from scratch, you know, in the hospitality industry and working towards construction and eventually into real estate. Um, I've been there and I know what it takes and I'm able to help, uh, help them set goals and plans to achieve. Today, I'm a real estate broker. Uh, I own a brokerage that we provide sales, investment, construction and property management services. And I also have started a nonprofit that provides housing uh, for men and women in recovery. So my mentoring, I go back into the jail and usually on a weekly basis, uh, just meet one-on-one -on -one and go over their, what they're going through, what their challenges are, and in what ways that I can help guide them in helping them prepare to be released. And beyond that, when they're in the community, uh, I also make myself available to meet on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We also go to some of the perk meetings weekly, depending on their needs, but really just overall making myself available and trying to offer as much guidance as I can uh, as they're trying to rebuild their life. If you're thinking about being a mentor, let me tell you this story. A few years ago, I was working with someone who came to me at one point and said that he had reached a point prior to meeting me that he felt so low and felt like his life and the damage he had done was irreparable and that after seeing how I changed my life and what I had to overcome to get there it had instilled in him himself a newfound sense of hope and stories like that are really what continues to motivate me to want to get back and help others with my background. The Foundation of Hope makes in my opinion a tremendous difference to those returning to the community. Uh, over the last six years that I've been involved I've got to see uh, how they provide a tremendous amount of programs, resources from the time someone's incarcerated all the way through their transition into the community uh, and ultimately providing help and hope.